Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading. So let's just hop straight into it. Okay. Angel Spirit God's ancestors and line of the highest white light. Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective. Please and thank you. Page of Pentacles and Two of Cups, y'all. Somebody here want somebody see you as a soul partner. It's a soul connection. Y'all got a soul contract together. This person is finally ready to lock you down here. Sit it down, lock you down. Y'all, I'm looking at this. Um, like this lion with the wings at the top here. Y'all, God has definitely been protecting you and your person. This union is very protective. You are too protected individuals. You just don't know how much God favors the both of you all. And this connection definitely is covered. Y'all, I feel like, you know how people be like, you are truly blessed. Yes, y'all, as soon as I looked at my phone, it was 202. That's four. Like, this connection is very protected, y'all. You just don't understand. Like, people going to be looking at y'all and be like, y'all are two very blessed individuals. This connection is blessed. You just don't know how much both of you all are protected by God in this union and how much he's covering. You could be feeling your person a lot right now, okay? Because... Your person is like he's wanting to take this step. It's like God is giving him the okay that it's now time to go ahead and come in and offer, give you this offer here. It's like now is the time. It's coming, y'all. I'm telling you, it's coming. The time is now. It's approaching. God is telling your person, it's okay. Go ahead on and give them that offer. It's time. Yeah, you got the six of swords. You got the eight of wands here. You all could be a single parent with the six of swords here. It's a, it looks like it could be a single mother and a child right here in this boat. And then it's a man in the back, right? I feel like those swords are like intuitive. It's like, it, it's like protection. Because people on the other side, right? You can't even really see too much. I feel like that's like a that's that's like a, a form of protection. Okay? And your person want to protect you and your children because it's a child on this picture and 
he feel like he need to do that. He feel like it's his duty to protect you and your children here. God is telling your person to go ahead on and come in. Y'all, why is something over here, y'all? It looks like uh, a needle and thread, y'all. I promise you. Your person feel like your 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 love is like finding a needle in a haystack. You about to get the best news in your life, okay? This relationship is going to be very um, abundant. It's going to have a whole lot of wealth, a whole lot of happiness, a whole lot of joy, a whole lot of peace, so a whole lot of wealth and abundance. And you're about to get clarity on this because you're a person, y'all, okay? is definitely getting ready to take this step. He's ready to be with you. He's he's serious because God is telling him to go ahead and do it. So definitely be expecting this person to come in and tell you this here, okay? And that he's ready to move forward with you, and he and he's ready to settle down. Yeah, this person finna get ready to move quickly now. He don't want it to be a missed opportunity, and he's making plans. If your person has been a little quiet, know your person has been making plans, baby. All right? It's not that he ain't thinking about you. It's not like he don't went towards somebody else. Like, it's really what I'm saying. Like, your person is literally making plans. Yeah, he's making beautiful plans. Okay. Yeah, this man, I'm telling you. I feel like this, this man also had to get away from certain people, certain places. So with this Six of Swords, it's like he feels like it's his duty to protect you. And if you have children, protect your children too, right? And be there for y'all. But your person, it's like he's protecting himself too. He's protecting his energy. Because God had to get your person away, move him towards common water. So he moving towards common water. He want to move towards common waters with you, but y'all actually moving towards common waters together because he's God is removing him away from situations and people and things. And he definitely could be relocating y'all somewhere as well. God is giving your person the strength and the courage to go ahead and come in towards you and give you this love offer. He's been preparing this person for this, y'all. That's what your person been doing. God has been preparing this person to come in to be your husband, your helpmate, your lover, great father, protector, provider, a great man to you. That is what's been going on behind the scenes, y'all. Because God has been getting this man ready for you 
okay? Y'all, I feel like this man has cried thinking about you because you're so pure and you're so innocent. And he's never met somebody like you. I heard I've never met an angel before. But I feel like this woman right here could be that. I feel like she's an angel. And it's true. Like you actually could be. Like you actually could be an earth angel. Like literally. Your person has actually witnessed an angel on earth. And that's you because you're very pure. You're very angelic. You're very loving. You're very kind. You're very godly. It's like you can just see the God on you, in you. You can see God in you and on you. It's, it's in you and on you. It's like this light. It's like you have this certain glow. It's, it's, it's like the God in you, right? Y'all, go listen to this song by Kim Chemistry. I think it's called Heaven. And basically, it's like heaven is in you. It's like he'll search for a lifetime to find the heaven. The heaven is in you, y'all. Go listen to that. Y'all, when I tell you that song, it's so beautiful, y'all. Y'all might cry listening to it. Because that's literally how this person feels about you. Your person feel like this is a love of a lifetime. Y'all, I'm telling you. I feel like this man has literally cried. I feel like he your person has really shared some shed some tears when it come to you just thinking about you your love your kindness not even just your love for others but your love for this man is so beautiful you're rare your person look at you as somebody that's very very rare they don't make them like you no more. <laughs> Why is that collective? They don't make them like her no more. Like, and they don't. He know he ain't gonna find nobody like you. He ain't gonna be able to replace you. Because it was never meant for him to. Even if he tried to find you and other people, it wasn't meant for him to find you and nobody else because you're very rare. He would never find it. The happiness resides with you. The sun, ten of cups. The sun is the happiest card in the tarot, y'all. You make this man happy. What's that song by uh, John Legend? Because I'm happy. That's your person. Every time he think about you. Every time. Y'all, he can be somewhere and hear your name and he get happy. Like, wait a minute, huh? Where she at? Oh, that's happiness right there. <laughs> right there you hear me it's, it's, that's 
don't say it's beautiful it's amazing but this y'all i'm also hearing um that song by luther vandross so amazing amazing nothing for forever forever love I found from the, from the moon and the sky above something like y'all what is that song it's by Luther Vandross and he say such amazing nothing forever y'all I can't think of the words like that but it, that's how it go listen to that song somebody comment <laughs> that song okay um Is it, is it from the moon and the stars above or the moon and the sky above? So, I don't know. It's something like that, but it's beautiful. So, though, so far, I gave y'all two channel songs. Go listen to them, okay? Rather, this reading uploads uh, tonight, okay? Or in the wee hours in the morning. Listen to it, Okay? Yeah, I feel like your person had to, your person had a, a lot of lust inside of him and he had to heal that. And your person didn't want to bring that mess to you. He didn't want to come towards you with all that lust inside of him. Yeah. He didn't feel like it was fair to you because you're so pure, you're so loving, and you're so innocent. Y'all, even the times I feel like where you all wasn't um, official, it could have felt like he was cheating on you if he did have his options open. <laughs> y'all, he could have literally, like, at times, like, pulled away because when he went on a date or something, or if he was just still seeing what was out there, like it made him feel horrible because it felt like y'all was together in a relationship even when you all was not official. <laughs> it felt like he was cheating on you. And he used to, I feel like at one point, it made him feel bad to the point where he had to like, kind of it for this is could be for the part for the ones if you all that were still communicating or still communicating with your person i feel like when he did like you know have his options open or he was still trying to see what was out there um he did he felt bad like he felt like he was cheating on his partner and he had to kind of pull away a little bit so maybe you didn't hear from him for some days or for maybe like a couple of weeks or something like that. That's because he ain't want to feel bad. <laughs> and once he seen that whoever this was wasn't like you or had your energy, you heard from him. Y'all, your person did that. Okay, he did. I'm telling you right now, he did. Because he was very unsuccessful in finding you. Finding your energy, your love, the way that you are, and anybody else. So it was like he always came back with communication, talking to you after he figured out again that he has failed at finding somebody like you or trying to replace you. Like it just didn't work. So it made every time it made him miss you even more. It's like, oh my God. No, nah, this person ain't nothing like that. I couldn't find it. So wait, is my person still there? Hey, what you doing? I miss you. I'm thinking about you. <laughs> oh, I had to wait. Make sure she ain't go nowhere. <laughs> Y'all, I feel like your person really did that. He did. I promise you. 
when he tries to, I feel like he was constantly trying to stick to he find your energy somewhere else. That, and that's why it's so rare. Because he like, bro, it's nobody in this world like this woman. Nobody, bro. Let me make sure she ain't went nowhere. While I'm up here trying to see it's her energy somewhere else. It, it ain't. Every time he failed, he was unsuccessful. Like, bro, wow. Like, I'm talking about no kind of similarities, nothing. Like, no, <laughs> nobody is like you, bro. You hear me? <laughs> Your person, like, I'm, I'm not finna even play. I'm not even finna give nobody the opportunity to come in and, and get this woman. Like, I see now that it's... And you know what? Maybe God wanted this person to see how rare you are. Like, bro, you ain't finding nobody like this one. You better go ahead and do what you need to do because you ain't going to find her again. You fumble her, you're going to literally be searching a lifetime trying to get it again. And, and it ain't going to be like this. <clears throat> and, and you can find some good people. But you ain't going to find nobody like this because you're very, very rare. Yo, baby, your person is like, he giving his heart to you. His whole heart to you. His whole heart is in this. You hear me? He ain't playing. God is telling him, Go ahead, son. Go ahead. Now's the time. I done showed you it's nothing out here. It ain't nobody like this woman. I'm gifting you with her. Like, you are a gift to this person. Because you're that rare. You're so unique. You're so beautiful, Collective. You really are. It's nobody in this world like you. Now, you know you do have people that that are alike. But when I tell you, like, you're so rare, it's nobody like you. Nobody. Like, even divine feminines are all unique in their own way chances that this person will come across somebody like you again. Y'all, it won't be. And when I looked at my phone again, it was 22. This connection is highly protected by God. God could have put your person in certain situations or just made things very clear to your person like, bro, you ain't finding her. What you doing? I don't care where you go. You go to a whole nother side of the world and, and, and I'm still going to stand on. <coughs> this woman right here is rare. This is the woman for you. This is the blessing. She's rare. Go ahead and get her. Go ahead and do what's right. And your person's ready to love you. Y'all hearing that song by uh, Mario, You Should Let Me Love You. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Your person is ready to give you whatever you want. Everything that you need. Good love, good love and protection. That's what your person want to give you. The same type of love you give, your person want to give you that same love, bro. It's like, I, I I might not be able to get it just like her, but it's going to be real close. But your person been getting close to God, it's going to be love just like that. You're going to have that same love that you give, collective. And some of y'all might not have ever had this type of love ever in your life from nobody. Family, friends, lovers might not have ever been able to reciprocate uh, your energy, your love. 
your person is going to be able to give you that love back. Because God is within your person. So that same love that you have, your person got it. And he's going to be able to give you that. So for the first time in your life, you're going to be able to feel the same love that you've been giving people your whole life. And you've never been able to get that in return. Your person going to give it to you. You're going to finally experience real unconditional love. You're going to be looking at your person and seeing you. Like, wow. This is the love that I've been given. And I finally feel it. I finally feel it. And it's, and it's not from me. It's not me giving it to me. Even though I love myself so much. But I'm finally feeling the love that I have been giving people all my life, now I finally know what it feels like. And you're about to experience it. It's so beautiful and it's so divine. Yeah. Your person is coming in as this emperor. Your person said everything on the up and up. Everything moving, everything shaking. You hear me? He 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 definitely following through with his plan. God is guiding your person on what to do right now. Your person is is missing intimacy with you. Y'all listen to Eric Benet. Wrap them chocolate legs around me. It's the name of the song. It's a part of it to say you make me feel all right. You make this person feel all right. You make everything all right. It already came. Everything on the up and up. Baby, you make everything all right in this person's life. I'm telling you. You just don't know the impact that you had on this person's life. You hear me? And this person, when I tell you he's definitely, y'all, the passion is on 10. It's like this person cannot wait to feel you, okay? Like, really feel you. Like, he can't wait. You got that love. That's Gerald LaVert. You got that love. Because you really do got that love. Listen to that too. Y'all, I'm telling you, once you hear these songs, I'm talking about, it's like you, y'all gonna feel the love. I'm telling you, y'all could be communicating telepathically. And y'all could be communicating through a lot of music. All right? Look, I can't make it up. It says, I wanna make sweet love to you. Y'all know, I know what I be talking about. It says, pinch me to see if it's real. It's a dream come true. Your person finally got himself together. And he said, he missed that thing that you do. So whatever you do, when you wrapping them chocolate legs around him, or when y'all are making sweet love or whatever, he said he missed that thing that you do. He missed the love making between you and him here. Okay? And and but most importantly, he's missing you. But specifically, it's something that you do. You know what that is, Alexis. <laughs> okay, but he's ready to make up. 
okay? He ready to heal this connection. It's, it's, it's like he got to pinch himself to see if it's real. It's like it's a, it's a dream come true. All right? But that is all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. All right? God love you. And I do too. Bye, y'all.